Tracy yeah. never charged, and we'll get into why in a minute. But first, these just in 73 pages of a police report. In them, a detailed account of what the woman told police happened back on October 24, 2006, with a man who called himself Mr. Stone. The woman, a masseuse, had a session with Al Gore in his ninth floor suite of the Hotel Lucia in downtown Portland. She says, quote, during the course of a massage session, Al Gore did sexually assault me in his room. She says he made repeated unwanted sexual contact that she was afraid he was going to rape her. Initially in 2006, the woman did not want to be interviewed by police. That's why the case went nowhere. It wasn't until last year that she met with detectives. Then this month, the woman went to police again asking if she could edit her original statement. Police told her she could only add information to it. At that point, she said she was going to the media with her story. Now News Channel 8 has confirmed Vice President Al Gore was indeed in Portland on October 24th. 2006 campaigning for Governor Ted Kulingoski. Here is a video we took of him during that trip. You see him next to the governor. According to police reports, detectives did contact the FBI, the Secret Service, and Oregon State Police to have a larger law enforcement agency investigate this claim, but all agencies declined. We called and emailed Al Gore's representatives all throughout the day today to get his side of the story. We have not gotten anything back. We are still pouring through these pages, and we will have much more on this developing story. Coming Just up. into Fox News Channel, we've now learned former Vice President Al Gore was once accused of a sex crime by a woman who reportedly claimed that the former Vice President repeatedly touched her inappropriately. Police in Portland, Oregon have now confirmed they did indeed investigate the complaint back in October of 2006. He's, she is a licensed massage therapy. She says she was called to a local hotel to provide a massage to the former vice president, and that's where she claims he touched her. She is 54 years old. That's basically all we know about her. Police say the woman's lawyer told them about the incident, but that she refused to be interviewed by detectives back in 06, and that she did not want the case to proceed, so they never filed criminal charges. According to the police report, which we now have, the woman came back to them three years later in 2009, and reported that she now did indeed want to talk, that she still had the clothes that she had worn during that encounter, the clothes, and offered them to police as evidence. But due to the description she gave of the incident, detectives say they did not collect the clothes as evidence because they did not feel there was any reason to do so. Police are just telling us about this right now in response to a report in the National Enquirer. A spokesman for former Vice President Gore says he has no comment. Gore and his wife of 40 years, Tipper, announced their separation earlier this month. The news was followed by reports that the former VP was having an affair with Laurie David, fellow environmentalist and ex-wife of Curb Your Enthusiasm star. It's not about justice. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.